we have got to talk about Google and its earnings report. It is up 10% on the day alone. It just broke through its all-time highs. Let's talk about it. So Google stock soars over 12% in after hours after beating earnings expectations and beating like crazy it did. It had one of the best earnings reports and earnings calls. The company reported revenue of $93.5 billion and EPS of $1.89. Google also declared its first ever dividend. Welcome to the dividend club with 20 cents, which obviously isn't that much, but we're expecting for it to accelerate. That is the first time in history. And it issued $70 billion in stock buybacks. Holy cow. So remember when Google was around $100 and everybody was like, oh my gosh, Google's days are over, their days are numbered, um, their search engine is very biased, and the CEO is doing absolutely terrible sending it to the ground? Yeah, me neither, because it is currently at all-time highs. And not only that, but it is currently one of the most fair valued of the MAG7. If you can see the PE right here, it has a PE of 24 or 20. And as you can see, almost all of the other MAG7 stocks are higher. And I think Google definitely deserves to have a higher PE. They are the leader in AI. They are the leader in search. You Google it. You don't type it into a search engine. So let's see what CNBC has to say about this. Dollar day. I thought search was dead. I thought chat GPT was going to kill Google search. But apparently the market begs the difference. Definitely hasn't yet. I mean, there's everybody worried about the future for Google, but the present always looked good. And the present looks real good for Google. I mean, as reacceleration in terms of revenue growth, it issued a dividend. It has a big stock buyback. Sundar Pichai is taking a hard line against people making trouble inside the company, saying, mm. no more. You guys got to get out. Yeah, it's, a job, it's a workplace. It's a exactly. job. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, the narrative around Apple, start, oh, I mean, the around market Alphabet, cap. starting to shift. People are starting to say, this company remains strong. Those worries might come into play, but they're not happening immediately. And now we're looking at it, $2 trillion. It truly is. I mean, if you're on the radio, folks, Alphabet, Google is up 10% right now. Just a monster move, like we said, best in almost a decade. Going back, what, nine and a half years, best day since. It did feel, to your point, without getting into the politics of it, Alex, but it did feel like you see all these things that are happening at the company, and people are like, oh, Gemini's got these weird search results, and it's gotten too whatever. Pachai laying down the hammer. I mean, he's dropping the hammer. It's a place of work. You do work or you go somewhere else. And it feels like that did have a market shift almost. Definitely. He had to change the story. And I think he understood that. And so what he did was he fired the employees that had taken over. I mean, it's not like they were hanging out in the cafeteria. They were yeah, the or outside the building. They literally took yeah. over people's offices. Look, and they're not, their job is not to be paid to take over people's offices. You have to do your work. And if yeah. you're going to be occupying the CEO's, the cloud CEO's office, you got to go. And I think Sundar realized in the past they had tolerated some of these protests. And now he realized, listen, everybody's looking at us as a laggard, right? They talked about this Gemini issue. Best days are behind you, exactly. Google. Forget about it, right? And unless, until that was turned around, it was going to be trouble for Google. So today what you have is that narrative is shifting. He's thrown the hammer down. He's written a memo to the company saying mission first, where it's too important of a yeah. moment to be distracted. And then, by the way, delivering these very impressive results where they beat on everything. Their profit grew by like 30 percent, 37 percent. I mean, it's Amazing. a time where they're supposed to be dead. They're not dead. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, do you think that this company should be going all the way this year? Do you think that Google or Tesla is going to beat as far as stock price goes, just the stock price for the end of the year? Which one will win?